When you spend as much time making cards as we do, you can get bored of creating the same types of cards over and over again. Once you've passed the beginner card making phase, you will discover that there are so many different types of card folds to create. Today, Amy will be sharing 11 different card folds and exactly how to cut, score, and fold them to create new cards in your craft room. Number one, side folding card. This is a basic go-to card fold everyone loves and it can open up from the side or from the top. This is to make a side folding card. And side folding cards can either be open from the side, if they're in portrait, or from the top, if they are in landscape. We start with a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper. And this will cut on the 11 inch side, right here, in the middle at five and a half inches. This will make two cards. Turn this and we are going to score on the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter. Making sure to keep the paper up next to the side of the scoreboard to use that to make sure those edges are even. Refold and then reinforce the fold. And there is our card. So again, it can be opened to the side or top if you have a landscape card. We have a side folding card with the top. This is an example of a card that opens from the top. This is a card that opens from the side. Number two, top folding card. A top folding card is also a great go-to and can open from either the top or the side, giving you double the card making possibilities. This is to make a top folding card. We'll start with a piece of eight and a half by 11 inch paper. On the eight and a half inch side, you will cut this in half. And that is at four and a quarter. One sheet of paper will make two cards. Scoring board on the 11 inch side, score at five and a half. I score both cards at the same time to make the process go faster. And then you fold, use my bone folder to reinforce the fold. Now you can decorate your top folding cards. You can even use other colors other than white. This is decorated with a cover die. This is a top folding card that opens from the side. Another example of a top folding card that opens from the side. Example, top folding card. Number three, simple stepper card. This is a fun card to add lots of dimension and elements that can go in front and behind each other. This is to make a simple stepper card. So a simple stepper card, we have front panel, panel right behind it, and then our back panel. And those will fold up, so you can see it like this. To make that, we're going to start with a piece of four and a quarter by 11 inches, and this is going to get scored at two inches, at four inches, and also at seven and a half inches. And my board doesn't go over, so I'm going to use my ruler and make a mark at seven and a half inches. So 
So if I turn this over, that is at 3 and 5 eighths. And then when I fold these, This will get folded under. This will get folded up. And this will get folded under. There is my simple stepper card. Number four, gatefold card. A gatefold card opens up like a gate. Imagine that the card has two doors that can open to reveal something inside. This is to make a gatefold card. Start with a piece of 8.5 by 11 paper. On the 11 inch side, cut in half. Half 5.5. And, and From this, we can get two gatefold cards. Turn the paper the eight and a half inch side. Score two and an eighth from each end. Let the ends meet in the middle and then reinforce the fold. full cards you can put an image over the front and use a sentiment strip to keep them together. You can use a belly band to keep the pieces together. That belly band can be made out of vellum so your image can still show through. Or that can be made out of paper with a sentiment. You can have a belly band of the die cut image. You can have a reusable belly band. This one turns into an ornament. This one has a die cut flower. This one allows the background to come through. Number five, aperture card. An aperture card is a type of punched card with a cutout window that opens to a bigger surprise on the inside. This is for an aperture card. Start off with a card base, and you can use any die. Use satin masking tape, add die to your card, and secure it in place where you want it. Open your card, use your die cutting machine. Make sure the card is open. Remove your dime. And now your design can shine through. If we take our die cut and add this on the inside of the card. So when we open it, our design lines perfectly up. You can do use any die cut like this ice cream cone, and when it's opened up, there's a little surprise. You can use the tree. A bear. You can you turn an aperture card into a shaker. You can turn an aperture card into a spinner. with a sentiment or a spinner with a shape like a circle. Number six, book style trifold. A book style trifold card is made up of two cards stuck together. It opens up to show the same design in two different ways. 
This is an example of a book style trifold card. Start with a piece of 8.5 by 11 inch paper. We will make two side folding cards. On the 11 inch side, we're going to cut at 5.5. Each card is scored at four and a quarter. The two cards are inserted into one another. This is card B, this is card A. The bottom of card A fits on the top of the bottom of card B. This creates a trifold. So we add tape. To the base of card B, fit that in. And now you have a place for your front, an inside picture, and your message. So yeah. We have a piece of vellum with the front and the sentiment, inside image, and a place for a message. Number seven, easel card. An easel card is shaped just like an easel when it stands up on its own. This will make an easel card. And an easel card just starts out with a side folding card and one part is folded back. So to make a side folding card, take a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper and cut it on the 11 inch side at five and a half. And we'll score this into a side folding card by making a score line halfway at the four and a quarter mark. And you fold it in half. Now, on one of the panels, you're going to score this at the halfway mark, and it's going to fold in towards this middle. So we're going to score this at two and an eighth. And this is going to fold in to the middle. And I'm going to reinforce that fold. Reinforce that middle fold. And this is my easel card. In order to keep this straight once it's up, I'm just going to add a little stopper so this will, get, this will hook onto a spot. And I can decorate the front, put a sentiment in, and that will open up and I can have my piece in here. And that is an easel card. Number eight, slimline card. Opens from the side or from the top. Slimline cards are great for storing and mailing in standard mailing envelopes. Just a slimline card. Can also be used portrait or landscape. Start with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. On the 11 inch side, cut off four inches. This can be cut down and used as a front panel. So now you have seven inches by eight and a half inches. On the seven inch side, we're gonna score in the middle at three and a half. The paper goes beyond the edge, so we're gonna turn it around. So here's three and a half. I'm gonna turn it, not over, but just turn it. Score at three and a half. Then I'm going to fold this in the middle. Make sure those edges line up. And reinforce my fold. Sample of slimline. Decorated flowers. This gives you a lot more space.
Number 9. Square Card If you love symmetry, square cards are a fun, small shape for card making. Now I'm going to make a side folding square card. This could also be used top folding because it's a square. Square cards can be 5 inches, 5.5 five inches, or 6 inches square. We're going to start with a piece of 8.5 by 11 inch paper. On the 8.5 inch side, I'm going to make a 5.5 inch square card. So on the 8 inch and a half inch side, I'm going to cut at 5.5. This is the 11 inch side. I'm going to score in the middle at five and a half. Fold my paper over and reinforce the fold. This is an example of a side folding square card. Number 10, shaped card. You can also use any other shape to create a card, such as a round circular card. Number 11, trifold card. A fun multi-layered card to show dimension. This will make a Z-fold trifold. This card also stands up. To start, you'll need a piece of eight and a half by 11 inch paper, and this will be cut to eight and a half by 10 and a half. On the ten and a half inch side, I'm going to score at three and a half inches on both sides. Here's our middle panel. This side will be folded away from the panel. This side is folded towards the panel. That gives the Z. From this panel, we can get two cards on this side I will measure down two and a quarter inches, make a mark. On this side, I will measure down six and a quarter inches and make a mark. And then I will connect those marks. I will then cut along those marks. And that gives you two. Z fold cards. Front panel, you can use patterned paper. Head in flowers, stenciling. And then have six panels. Are you feeling inspired to try out all of these new card folds in your craft room? Trying out different card folds definitely opens up so many different possibilities. Which card fold is your favourite? Please let us know. Hey there, Lydia here. I really do hope that you've just enjoyed the video. If so, please subscribe to the Alter New YouTube channel. Also turn on the notification bell so you can get your daily dose of crafty techniques and tutorials just like this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.